This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I highly doubt that if you're watching this video that you've never played a Mario game before, but if you haven't, go play one, I don't know. One of the things that I love so much about the Mario series is the bright and recognizable character designs. Like, come on guys, it does not get any better than this. Pretty much every single character design from the series, apart from like, the Brutals, are extremely recognizable and iconic. And other than the Mario Brothers themselves, I believe that there are none more iconic than the three Mario princesses. Or four, I guess, if you count Pauline. But she's not a princess, she's a mayor. But as much as I love these three designs, you have to admit they're a little bit basic. Especially when it comes to Peach and Daisy, although they complement each other very well, they have very similar shape language and are just very visually similar apart from their colors. So don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Peach, Daisy, and Rosalina, but I also want to make them a little bit more visually interesting. I know that most of the designs in the Mario series are mainly simple, so they can be easily recognizable, but this is just my take on the characters, what I would do if I were in charge of designing Mario's characters. But before we get into the redesigns, I have my very first sponsor, guys. We have a sponsor! This video is sponsored by Skillshare! If for some reason you've never heard of Skillshare, Skillshare is the largest online collection of classes made by creatives for creatives, with classes led by industry professionals ranging from film, design, productivity, or anything else you might be interested in. It's the start of the year, which makes it the perfect time to learn something new. The class I've personally taken most recently is 2D Backgrounds, Create Stunning Scenes for Your Animations by Toniko Pantoa. Even if you're not sure where to begin, Skillshare has specially curated learning paths, which make it easier than ever to pick up a new skill and advance from beginner to pro in no time. My personal recommendation for anyone wanting to get into learning Procreate, which is the app that I use for almost everything, is the learning path focusing on the Procreate Basics, which is a course with almost 8 hours of content to help you go from learning the interface to making your own illustrations. If you're interested in getting started with Skillshare, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial from Skillshare. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, and now let's get into the redesigns. Of course, when talking about Mario princesses, we have to start with the original, Princess Peach, or as she used to be known, Princess Toadstool. Everybody knows her, everybody loves her, she's extremely recognizable even with a slightly different design like I have on screen in Super Smash Bros. She's characterized by extremely round shapes, her blonde hair, and her pink dress um, with blue accents. And that's, you know, pretty much it. Her character design is not all that complicated. And honestly, it doesn't really need to be. I think she fits her role perfectly. That's probably why they haven't changed her design one bit since like 1996. She's iconic, I love her. So that's why I wanted to give it a shot at designing a version of her myself because I love her so much. I don't think that there's anything wrong with any of her designs. She's perfect. I love Princess Peach, I love her. So you'll notice that I put Peachette on screen and I know that Peachette isn't Peach, Peachette is Toadette. Um, I just uh, wanted to reference the big bow that she has and her crown and that's pretty much it. I don't end up uh, keeping those influences. I just wanted to mention that yes, I know that Peachette isn't Peach. I know that guys. So the main thing I wanted to do with my redesigns was make their silhouettes more different from each other um, because both Peach and Daisy have very round silhouettes and both of them have the same dress shape, um, which honestly, I don't like it. So I wanted to give Peach some more accessories just to make her silhouette a little bit more interesting, but because I do already love the shape of her dress, it's iconic, I kept it mostly the same. Though my style is a little bit more based in realism than, you know, the style of the Mario franchise, so her sleeves aren't as puffy. I know that puffy sleeves like that do exist. You know, I'm just not the biggest fan of them personally, so I changed the shape of her sleeves a little bit, but I still kept them, you know, moderately puffy. I pretty much didn't do anything to her face. I kept her bangs the same. I kept her earrings just because she's so iconic. The shape of her hair is iconic. It pretty much wouldn't be her without, you know, the little heart shaped bangs that she's got going on. And I just think they're cute. So I kept them. I wanted to make her dress a little bit more complicated, but I do not have any experience designing dresses or anything like that. So I mostly just took inspiration from her Smash Bros design. 
And you'll also see that I'm adding bows, which becomes uh, an element of her design that I really liked. I added a bunch of bows. I think bows are great for adding a bit more interest to the silhouette and maybe even adding a pop of color in most places. I love bows. And probably a bit of a controversial decision here, I actually replaced her crown with a bow. You know, you don't have to be wearing a crown to be a princess, you know, and I I thought the gold crown clashed with her blonde hair, so I changed it to a bow, and I think it still keeps that little, um, you know, the something on top of her head as well as adding a bit more to her silhouette. I also made the pink of her dress less of a hot pink and more of a peachy pink because that's her name. Her name is Peach. And I also wanted to add some light yellow accents because I know that cartoon peaches normally have that fade from pink to yellow going on. And you can see that I'm struggling with the patterns on her dress. I ultimately just went with something pretty simple. Um, but I left the light yellow um, pretty minimal, just concentrated to her bows and the accents on her dress. And you know I had to keep the blue gem that she's got on her chest. That's iconic and I think the blue adds a much needed accent color to the warm tones. I kept her eyes blue um, but other than that I didn't add much else blue. I also shortened her gloves. Her gloves are short now. Ooh, what was going on there? <laughs> Lucky, what are you doing? Anyways, that's pretty much it for Peach. Um, I really like how she turned out. I think she might be my favorite out of them but let's move on to Daisy. I'm gonna be so honest with you guys, Daisy gave me a little bit of trouble, mostly because she's just the princess I resonate with the least personally. Like, I love Peach and I love Rosalina, but I'm really not getting much from Daisy, unfortunately. And I know that there are a lot of people who are really big fans of Daisy, but honestly, I am not one of them, unfortunately. I'm sorry. But my very good friend Cinnamon Spiders is a very big Daisy fan, so I knew that I had to do Daisy justice, if just for him. The first thing that I wanted to do was give Daisy pants. In most of the spin-off games, like the Mario soccer games, which I haven't played, I've just seen clips of them on TikTok, Daisy is shown to be very competitive, very adventurous, so I w didn't want her to be, you know, held down by a dress. I wanted her to be able to move around, and wear pants. But my main problem was how do I convey that she's a princess and keep that, you know, silhouette that she's got going on that very much reads princess without just putting her in a straight up dress. So I settled for this kind of high-low thing that she's got going on that still gives the silhouette of a dress without it actually being a dress. And I was trying to think of where I'd seen this outfit before because I definitely got it from somewhere. And I realized that this was Trixie's performance outfit in My Little Pony Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks. So I don't know if this was the best solution and I don't know how many of you guys are gonna like this, but I mean, I ended up liking it. Sin ended up liking it. And that's all that matters. The other thing was I wanted to incorporate more petal shapes into her design just to separate her from Peach because Peach is very round and I wanted Daisy to not be sharp, but you know, getting towards sharp. So I wanted to incorporate uh, petal shapes into her gloves, onto her dress, places like that. I had to battle with wanting to make the dress, you know, realistic with realistic accessories and I had to remember that these are Mario characters and the Mario franchise is very, you know, out there. So I put these pedals on her boots. You would never see these anywhere in real life, I don't think. But I thought that they added a little bit of, you know, a little bit of something, something. I think the reason that I'm not as attached to Daisy as I am to Peach and Rosalina is because when I was a child, in the late 2000s, uh, the games that everybody was playing was New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Super Mario Galaxy. And you know, Super Mario Bros. Wii, you go and save Peach, and then Super Mario Galaxy, um, you meet Rosalina. So I think that's why I ended up liking them a little bit more than I like Daisy, just because I don't think there were really any Daisy-centric games around that time. The only one I can think of is Mario Super Sluggers, where you could play as Daisy, but that's a baseball spin-off game, so I don't really think that that counts. Anyways, getting back into the coloring, I wanted to make Daisy a little bit more tan, 
um, just because I thought it would go better with her color palette. Uh, I kept the bright yellow that she's got going on just because that's iconic. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of green in there just to allude to like the plant motif, but I don't end up keeping that green. Um, I replaced most of it with brown. Um, it's the same brown that I used with her hair. I made her hair a little bit less orange and, you know, more brown. I don't know how I feel about her brown shorts, but it's okay. I did add a little bit of green in there though. I made her eyes green. I don't know why they made her eyes this weird shade of blue. I don't like it, so I made her eyes green. Um, but she was pretty straightforward. Um, I do like how she came out, but like I said, Daisy isn't my favorite, so I'll leave this to you guys. Um, without being mean, because I'm sensitive, uh, tell me what you think of the Daisy redesign. You guys who are Daisy fans, um, what would you change? What would you keep? Um, but anyways, let's move on to my personal favorite princess. Like I said, Rosalina, or as she's apparently known in my files, Rolacinda is my favorite Super Mario Bros. princess and one of my favorite characters, period. But honestly, I've never been like a super huge fan of her design as much as I love, you know, star motifs and everything like that. She's kind of not giving me much to work with. I think her hair shape, while, you know, it fits with the Mario universe as being kind of out there, is just a little strange. And unfortunately, I don't like Empire Waistline, so I'm not the biggest fan of the silhouette of her dress. I think what they were going for was, like, kind of nightgown, which they did achieve. It very much does look like a nightgown. But I wanted to give her something a little bit more ethereal, more, you know, space goddess-esque, you know? I wanted to kind of keep the shape language that she's got going on, so very, you know, sleek shapes. I liked the opening that she had in the front of her dress, so I just kind of extended it upwards. It's giving Elsa a little bit, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But one other major change that I made was her hair, and I guess I changed the eye that's being covered by her hair. I don't think that that was intentional, but I'm just now realizing it as I'm watching back the speed paint. She's also the only princess that I gave a tiara. I just didn't know what else to put on her head, so I gave her back her tiara. I think I think she makes it work. Though I did change the shape of it. I wasn't the biggest fan of just the straight up crown that all three of them have, so I changed it into more of, you know, a tiara. One thing that did bother me with her original design is how some of her accessories are gold and then her shoes and her crown are silver. It makes me so upset for no reason. And so maybe I'm biased, but I made all of her accessories gold so that she had a blue and gold color palette going on. Not sure where I might have gotten that one from. But overall, her dress is just really simple in the original, so I wanted to add a little bit more... A little bit more. So I gave her a little star belt, she's got the cutout, um, and then her sleeves have gold accents. But I kept her earrings the same because I think her earrings are so cute. Going back to her hair, she's probably the one whose hair I changed the most, both style-wise and color-wise. But I kept the little, you know, little thing she's got going on on the side. I don't know what to call those. Does she look like Rosalina still? Not really. But, do I like it? Absolutely. This was definitely indulgent for me since she's blue and she's space and I love blue and I love space. So I think I went a little bit harder on this than I needed to and she ended up looking less like Rosalina and more like an OC. But you guys let me know what you think once you see the finished character. Anyways, I made her dress sparkly and I added a little bit of a gradient just because the big chunk of turquoise was really taking me out. But the glitter is like the stars and then the blue is like the sky. Isn't that crazy, guys? Another controversial decision that I think I made was I made her hair white instead of, well, it's like a really light blonde, but like, come on, it's white. And I think that's the main thing that sets this apart from the original is her hair. But once again, let me know what you guys think. I personally really liked how she turned out, even if she doesn't really look like Rosalina anymore. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. 
Wow, gang, you made it. Thanks for watching my first video of 2024. I'm very happy with how all of the princesses came out, but as always, I want to hear you guys' thoughts. As well as I would very much like to hear what you want to see from me in the new year. I might mix up my content a little bit in the next few months, so I hope that you stick around to see it. Make sure to follow my Instagram. I post uh, sketches and things like that on there as well as silly little polls and things like that. And if you want to see more of what I'm working on, join my Discord. I'm in there literally all the time. I have nothing else to do. So if you want to say hi, uh, come stop on by my Discord. I'm planning on also starting to post on TikTok soon. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but uh, my username is the same as my Instagram, ink.iio. So if you're interested in that, you should go follow me over there for when I start posting. Okay, self promo is over. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I have been Inkio, and I will see you very soon.